Outdoors. Good morning. I'm having a quick shave before I take the animals out. How are we doing today so far? It's Monday. It's a brand new day. My brother Mark and sister Tracy are, are in town. That's fun. Um, I always wash my face before I shave because the razor likes um, clean skin. I only have three viewers, bummer. Um, but the razor likes clean skin. Um, I was trying to clean the razor and I did something really stupid and I cut myself. I cut my thumb with my razor. Anyway, shit happens, so I'm changing the blade. I wasn't paying attention. Um, these are the blades, safety razor blade. And I remind people every time I do these uh, shaving videos, every time I shave live, if you do use a safety razor, as I do, do not repeat, do not throw the blades in the trash. No, no. Um, put them in a coffee can, coffee can or you know, somewhere safe where the people who are handling our trash can't get injured. You have to be considerate. So anyway, here's the head of the razor. Here's a fresh blade. Always exciting to have a fresh blade, start the week. And um, put the head back on. And we screw the handle back on. Now I've got some, I've got a new toy I'm sorry, I referred to your brother as Eric. I meant to say Mark. Um, I didn't catch it, but thanks anyway. Um, I'm trying to read here. Good morning, enjoy the new moon. Okay, I will try. Um, safe and secure. And under hot water that blade goes. And I'm going to wash my face with soap, soften the beard. Mm. Good morning to those of you just joining us. Mmm. Hello, hello. Oh, this feels great. And when you wash your face um, to prepare for a shave, use water, make sure the water is as hot as you can stand it without, you know, scalding yourself. So now, check this out. I got a new gift from my friends at CO Bigelow, the best pharmacy ever, a shaving cup. They sent me a shaving cup. How great is that? The little handle, so you hold it like this. Watch this, so great. So here is like, I'm almost done with this tube and when I'm done with this tube, I'm gonna start the fresh one. They also sent me some more shaving cream from Pro Rosso. Pro Rosso is the company um, that does uh, the shaving cream. Anyway, twist this. Oh, make sure that it, uh, yeah, I get some good. And I think we're done with this too, actually. We actually might be, oh, no, we, we're good. And it doesn't take a lot because this cream is super, super concentrated, you guys. Um, 
so it doesn't take much. I'm taking a minute here because I've got, I'm at the end of this tube and because I'm so frugal <laughs> with sh shaving cream, you know, I'm being a little precious, but there we go. Got more than enough here. Okay, good. So this tube is spent. I'm gonna take the key out. This is the key and attach that to the next new tube. Here's the old one. All done, spent. Bye-bye. Okay. Shaving cream, cup, or mug, I should say. And I'm gonna lather it up. I'm telling you, man, it doesn't take much. It really doesn't take much. You don't need a lot because this shave cream from Pro Rosso is so concentrated. Oh, wow. And it really lathers up like crazy when you really whip it up. God, I love this stuff. Good morning to those of you just joining us. We got, ooh, 23 viewers, we? Look at, like, when you, the cup really whips the shit when you've got the brush, and this is a synthetic brush. No animal hairs here, this is synthetic fiber which makes it actually easier to rinse because it's not porous. And uh, yeah, look at this. Mm, 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 mm. Wow. Or rinse that. Well, I'll do that in a bit. I want to. I want to get the hot razor going. All right. So, look at that lather. That's insane. It's so good, and it smells amazing, by the way. This sink in my little Upper West Side rental is bogus. Anyway, here we go. Um, I saw this woman I follow on TikTok. She does real estate. And um, she's a fun follow because she does these really, she edits together these really fun videos of New York apartments. Uh, I'm forgetting her handle, it's such a bummer. Um, but one time she gave us, her followers, a little mini tour of this apartment in the Dakota. <clears throat> and this apartment in the Dakota, for those of you who don't know, the Dakota is at 72nd and Central Park West. It's where John Lennon lived and was shot. Um, it's where Rosemary's Baby was filmed. The exterior, anyway, the interior was the set. And uh, it was the first, I think it was the first apartment building in New York. Old, 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 historic, beautiful. Yoko Ono still lives there, as far as I know. And uh, anyway, so there was an apartment that had become available in there. There was, uh, there was the one on the market. And um, she got, this woman I follow on TikTok got this tour of it. And she filmed the space, beautiful apartment. I knew someone who lived in the Dakota and it was the m most incredible apartment I've ever been in my life and probably ever will be. I mean, it's, they don't make them like that anymore. They really don't. Anyway, um, this space, the apartment had a shaving room. It wasn't a full bathroom. It was a small little, you know, smaller than my current bathroom, which is small, but the space, 
and it, there wasn't a toilet in it. No, it just had a sink and a mirror, and it was, it was a shaving room. That's what it was for. Who the fuck does that? So good. Loved it. Could you imagine a shaving room? What I would need, all right, here's what I would need. A shaving room for, for me. I would just need a Sonos speaker in there. But we bathe differently. I think back when that apartment was built, it was all about baths, right? I don't know if we were a showering culture yet. People took baths. But anyway, in the Dakota, the gorgeous building at 72nd and Central Park West. I saw on TikTok an apartment that had a fucking shaving room. Come on. That's brilliant. And my sister Tracy and my brother Mark are in town. And uh, we're just kind of, they're staying on the Upper West Side and I live on the Upper West Side and we're kind of spending our time on the Upper West Side. We're not, you know, it's super hot out. So it's not fun to do shit outside. So we're keeping it local, we're keeping it cool. And check this out, yesterday, we went to, we had brunch with some extended family that lives in the area, who lives in the area. And uh, we went to Tavern on the Green. Who goes to Tavern on the Green? We did, because it's, you know, under relatively new ownership and it's just, it's so fantastic. No, it's actually nice. And we had, I had the best French toast I think I've ever had in my life. Or at least perhaps the most interesting. It was quite delicious. Uh, but. Yeah. Now, after I'm done shaving, guys, I'm going to put on my glasses and catch up on your comments here because I can't read without them. Anyway, Tavern on the Green is kind of great. Like, and I think what I would love to do is do like a 25 person Thanksgiving prefix dinner there. That would be great. I gotta tell you, this shave feels great. So good. Ah. A little zit there. Lovely. Get all those nose hairs. Oh, this was such a nice shave. How enjoyable. Wowie. Okay. Good. That's done.
<laughs> Shit. Um, so I'm just rinsing out the brush. But anyway, um, now I'm free to talk safely since I'm done shaving. I'm rinsing out my shaving, my new shaving mug. Again, a little plug for my friends at CO Bigelow who sent me this great shaving mug to whip my shaving cream and the brush. Synthetic, by the way, no animal hairs, no animals harmed. Why? Because we, as real men, are guardians of animals, not destroyers of them. You follow me? Good, I knew you would. Um, okay, organizing, organizing, because I like a handsome display. There we go. <laughs> yes, I'm that frivolous. Oops, I have to dispose of I have an old Folgers can, and that's where I throw the old blades. Safely. And that's it. <laughs> that's it for my morning shave. But I'm gonna read some comments here. Hang on a second, you guys have been so patient. How many viewers? 28, wow. Okay. Thanks for joining. And also, did you guys know that if you go to georgeon.com slash support and join my Patreon, you can get some exclusive content. Most specifically, uh, my one-man podcast that is called Han Solo. Get it? There'll be a new episode on Wednesday. Um, oh, God, it feels good. I'm gonna jump in the shower in a second. But, not before, cleaning off my glasses here and checking out some things you gotta say here. Listening to George talk while you're working. Uh-oh, you should be working. You're gonna go shave your legs now. Thank you, Ro. Um, thank you, ter yes, Teresa Oss, you are joined. Uh, I thought you were supposed to shave in one direction only. No. Um, some people don't go against the grain. I do. Jury's out. Hold on. Foggy glasses. Wow. Ugh. I'm really... Okay. What did you guys have to eat for brunch? I had French toast. It was amazing. Everybody else had uh, either Eggs Benedict or they had a beautiful looking vegetable frittata. And this is at Tavern on the Green. And by the way, Tavern on the Green has the best gift shop I have ever seen. It's the kind of gift shop that belongs in a hotel because it, were, it had gifts that were actually gifts that you would actually want to buy. And it wasn't cheesy at all. Um, products from C.O. Bigelow, um, especially for travelers because they probably get a lot of tourists in there. I'm sure they do. It's mostly tourists. Um, uh, these really beautifully designed playing cards, mugs, glassware, fragrances, but like nice ones. I'm not kidding. Um, candles, room fragrances. Uh, like I was so impressed with their beautifully curated uh, and toys, but like really cool toys, like wind up cars and stuff in the gift shop at um, uh, Tavern on the Green. Uh, enjoyed the time with family. I love my time with my family. Okay, what else? It was a longer chunk to see. In Japan, toilets and bathrooms are separate rooms. Interesting. Often you find a mirror and sink in its own room. I like that, like a shaving room. That was the idea, but this room in the Dakota that I was talking about earlier, or this apartment, had, sorry about the fog in my glasses. It's on the inside. Um, uh, it was a separate room, separate from the bathroom with the sink proper just for shaving. It was a tiny little like bowl of a sink. It wasn't very big, but deep, you know what I mean? Because the problem with modern sinks is that they love it like these shallow, square, super modern sinks that suck for shaving. Yeah. Um, yes, more family stuff. So anyway, I'm gonna jump in the shower, gotta take the dogs out. They're still sleeping, God bless them. And um, more family stuff today. They're with me again today. Um, I do have some work to do, so it's going to be, we're all balancing work and fun family visiting today. And, um, yeah, so georgehan.com slash support. You can do a one-time donation, 
or you can join the Patreon and get some exclusive content. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoy the shave. I did. Uh, now I'm going to go rinse off in the shower. It feels so good. Nice and cool. All right. Love you guys. Mean it. Oh, by the way, let me do a little plug again. Uh, this, this is the CO Bigelow shave cream made by our friends at, um, this is with eucalyptus oil for sure. Uh, made exclusively by ProRosso. If you can read that, it says made exclusively by ProRosso for CO Bigelow. And this stuff is great, this particular formula. Um, if you're not into this formula, ProRosso makes other shave formulas that are just, it's the best I've ever found. Um, when I get further down that tube, I have this key. I found this on Amazon. You just literally put this in the end of the tube and wind it down, right? And I miss the days when toothpaste came in a metal tube like this and toothpaste worked like this because you really get to use all the product. It's great. Uh, no aerosol, that kind of shaving cream sucks. Of course, you all know my safety razor situation. This is from Mercur, M-E-R-K-U-R. Find that on uh, Amazon. The blades I use, Astra. I spend $10 a year on shaving on um, blades. And um, tiny little bit of cream. You don't need a ton because it's very concentrated. I would say like about a quarter's the size of a quarter, a dollop that is about the size of a quarter, and you put it in there and whip it up and it just gets nice, 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 nice. And the key, clean, warm skin, a fresh, hot blade helps it just glide right off. All that stuff. Anyway, that's it for my shave today. I'm gonna go hop in the shower and um, have a great Monday, everyone. Do good work. And um, especially you men out there, let's be good to others. Be of service. When you walk into a room, don't ask yourself, what am I getting out of this? Ask yourself, how can I make this room better? How can I leave this room in better shape than when I came into it? How can I be of service? That's how you, that's what you 